Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yeah, we got to be a little messy today. Got to be a little messy because I saw some stuff that I wasn't pleased with. And I know y'all probably saying, but what do you got to talk about all the time? Because when a person's trying to live a Hollywood life and they putting all their business out on them social media streets, then, hey, it's free game and I have the time to talk. And I made time to talk about this one. Now, I wonder what claimed commercially that Portia and her sidekick Lauren her assistant babysitter PR person however you want to see her but I'm pretty sure when Portia has no more use for her she's going to get rid of her just like she did her other assistants and her assistant Lauren her name happens to be Lauren she was friends with Lauren Lauren helped her get the position with Portia now as you can see Portia don't have too many friends or she don't trust the friends that she have because she's always messing with somebody younger and uh, I don't know prettier I guess you could say kind of makes me think is Portia going both ways is she also utilizing Miss Lauren as something else between the sheets. But yeah, that was when Portia went down into Nigeria the very first time and did a whole little parade and all like that, like they were putting her as a queen. But they ain't thought no more of Portia and probably said nothing else about Portia since that time. Okay? See, Simon wasn't with her at that particular club scene that they were getting into. But Portia says she is a married woman. She even uses the missus when she's not even that. Okay? Now, Lauren, your assistant... Uh, if you keep letting Simon look at her like that, he gonna be thinking he can have both of y'all unless he's already doing that. Well, uh, already, Portia. What you want to tell us today? You want to tell us today, or are you doing her? Which one, baby? Which one? Because we know you're a little by yourself. You ain't came out trying to say you strictly dickly, but I don't know. You might get the crunchy much going on. I don't know. It's giving me that tease. It's giving me that tease, Portia. Now. I don't know what Portia looked like in this picture. She definitely don't look happy. And she don't look sad. It's like she has mixed emotions in her mind that's going on. Maybe because you weren't supposed to be in Nigeria. I'm pretty sure that your boyfriend told you he needed to go spend some time with his mom. And, you know, maybe she's, her health is not faring well or anything. But you said, okay. He was gone for about two or three days. Then you're going to hop your little happy ass on Delta or whatever airplane that goes to Africa. Okay, these days. And as you can see, this is kind of blurred, but you can kind of see Brother Man is phased. He's dazed. He's highly induced with the a a a a alcohol. And it might be some other stuff, too. We don't know. We're just going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say alcohol. Now, this was from his Instagram account. And uh, it just seems like the only thing he likes taking pictures of is Portia's body. You remember when he was on his rented yacht, a little boat he was, he had going on? He loved looking at Portia's ass all the time. Tits and ass, tits and ass. That's what Simon Gabadi wants. Okay? That's all he wants. Her body, not her brain. Okay, and as you can see, he was trying to sing or whatever, but he was high as hell. Yes, he was. Portia was just smacking on that bald head of his, trying to make him go here, trying to make him go there. I don't know, people. I don't know. But as you can see, he's dazed. Now, what billionaire that you know? Hell, a millionaire. Go even farther. 100000 worth person. Say six figures. Would they be actually acting like this? Posting? On social media. Don't you think somebody that's worth a million, billion would uh, present themselves a little bit more presentable? Because they don't never know who they're going to deal business, do business with in the future. And do you really want to see your CEO over there doing this type of stuff? Would you do business with these people? Would you trust these people to handle your money in the situations far as making more money together would you want to see them in this type of diluted state i don't think that's gonna be a picture that you would want to present to anybody's board okay drinking out here in the club now COVID is still running around here but not one person in that club got on a mask 
from what I can see. And Portia know better. And we expect her to do better. Because why are you running around here, even if you're going to be over there in Nigeria for a week, you still bring all this shit back home to your baby girl, to your mama, and anybody else you may come in contact with. Now, we know when you were flying on that airplane over there, you had to have on that mask. Now, why you and Simon are not wearing masks, I have no idea. But, ooh, child. Whew. If little PJ got COVID from you, girl, it would be a roast every day until I just got tired and I couldn't talk no more. Because that's just piss poor. See? They taking pictures. I'm pretty sure Lauren is the photographer. Because she's not in that picture. And that's Atlanta. They were happy over here. Or we thought Portia was happy over here. While her man had to go take care of some business with its mom. Spend some mom and son time. Uninterrupted and all of this. Nope. Portia must have heard some on them YouTube streets here in Atlanta. Maybe somebody told her Simon had a little friendly get together a little party at his hotel over in Nigeria and she got on the next thing smoking okay the red eye and she dragged her assistant Lauren with her now my whole thing if you're going to meet your man going to be over there with your man why would you need to bring your assistant with you you ain't that type of person Portia you're not the uh, first lady you're not the Queen Elizabeth. You don't hold any royalty type setting to make you have to have Lauren at your beck and call. I mean, are you paying this girl overtime? Is she a friend after hours? Or what's, what it is? What kind of business relationship y'all got going on? Because technically, if she's on the clock, you should be going home a hell of a lot of money. If she's going to travel with you all the way to Nigeria to surprise, as you say, your boyfriend. I mean, really, where they do that at? And I'm like, she was Lauren's friend. She was your sister's friend. See where we're going with this? So how is she jumping on your bandwagon? And you can't lie and say you got PJ with you. Because PJ wouldn't have, she wouldn't have been cool with that long of a um, travel time. So we know you done pawned her off. Either on your mom or maybe Dennis got her this time. I'm not really sure, but I don't see how in the hell you can go from one state of mind to another one in just a few seconds. You were doing fine at that tea party that you had for Miss PJ. You and Simon both look respectable, down to earth, good looking folk. You see what I'm saying? Now, you don't turn back into... The slow, slow, whole walking type of personality. And I guess Simon's your pimp. Because that's what y'all gave me. Looking at these photographs. Now you're being deemed, you're being warned, you're being asked to wear a mask. While you're riding in a plane, going over there to see your boyfriend. But once you get there, mask come up. And all sensibility just go out the door. Just go fly right out of your head, out the door, into the atmosphere. You don't feel that you have to wear a mask anymore. Then you're going in the clubs, hanging out, knowing that's just a den of viruses and, and sickness all together. And nobody wearing, not that I could see in the photos. So I cheers to you and Lauren. Well, you both going over there acting like a fool. More so you, Portia, than Lauren. Because I'm sure you paid for her plane ticket. I'm sure you paid for her hotel. I'm sure you paid for her eating expense. Yes, she's at your beck and call. So, Lauren, hopefully you you, you packing your money back. Because if you haven't, Portia is liable to let you go at any given moment. That she deems necessary. And if she deems you as a threat, Lauren. You really will be uh, gone. She might get your ass whooping too. Because I'm just saying. Two birds of a feather flock together. Is Portia into sharing. Um, go body with you. 
or are y'all entertaining Gabadi or were y'all getting down together? Uh, you let me know. Because I'm like, how you got them is how you lose them. Because you were sitting over there in Fallon's house at the time, sunscreening it up, coming with the bathing suit, jumping in the pool and everything. Simon trying to act like he was a decent man at the time. Uh, how we say, you know, entertaining the ladies, making sure they had what they needed, they wanted for their visit over at your house when you were married to Fallon. Go by the, uh, so what? What's what's the TB? What's the T bill? Okay. Cause <coughs> 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 <Husband> Porter. <coughs> Anybody in their right mind? <coughs> Excuse me. So it's some water clear my throat. Anybody in their right mind wouldn't have went over 12 hour flight, 10 hour flight to go chasing after a man when he blatantly told you what he was going to do, where he was going. And he probably told you when he was coming back. But your behind had to push fast forward, jump on the next thing smoking. Not you coming along, but you brought your entourage with you. Lowering your sidekick. So would that be safe to say. You can't travel by yourself. You're not that woman enough. To do what you need to do. And I don't know why you're fooling with them folks. Over in Nigeria anyway. Because quiet as kept lies. I'm going to speak it out. They don't like you Portia. They don't like some of the things that you were saying. About their customs. And their religious beliefs. And all this. <coughs> you were misquoting. Their um way of living you was misquoting a lot of things you weren't very familiar with the nigerian culture and customs because one that i know that's just universal you don't come in between a man and his mama or a daughter and her dad you just don't do that <coughs> and you infringed on whatever they were trying to have during that week of travel that you felt that you needed to go and spend some time with your boyfriend. On April Fool's Day at that. Okay. I'm like, what type of person are you? What type of person are you becoming? This is ridiculous. Every time my, we see you with Simon, both of y'all got a drink in your hand. And we know you smoke hookah. Well, hell, we know both of y'all smoke hookah. But your boyfriend got a cigar in his mouth. And you're both always looking high as hell. Like you always got... And I thought you said the Lord delivered you from the club scene. That's what you said in your book, Portia. So are you calling yourself fake, foolish, fraudulent, fakery? Girl, are you you doing my four Fs with a whole book outlined of... The makeup of your life and where you are now. Girl, you're such a liar. You're such a liar. And a pretender. Because you said the Lord delivered you from the club scene. And he was going to give you your husband. Which you ended up with Cordell. So I guess you were talking to the, uh, the devil. Not the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. You said you left the club. You even told your mama. You got tired of the club. You ready to get married. This, that, and the third. You still ready to get married. But no suitor is fitting you at the time. You can't stay connected. But like I said. And like other people have said as well. How you get them is how you lose them. If you didn't do it professionally. And courteously. courteously and. You didn't infringe on somebody else's man. Now at the time. When you were sliding into Gobadia's DMs. He was still married. He was going through the process of a divorce. Even your baby daddy. Said you moved too close. And the optics are looking like. You took somebody's man for some other woman. And that's what them streets have been saying forever and a day. Because if Simon wanted you, 
he would have been to put a ring on it. He really would have been have done that by this time anyway. Because we're embarking on a year. If y'all met in April, depending on what day in April, y'all done met a year as of this month. Now, if it was May, y'all still shy of a couple of weeks from uh, it being y'all one year anniversary that y'all are still boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, you had the hoopla at the first part when Simon Gabbari had come to America and pretty much had said he's a billionaire. He's a CEO and he invested in other dilly dabs types financial portfolios for himself. We still have yet to have him show and prove because everything he has, it seems like it's rented. And I'm pretty much trying to say maybe <coughs> he may get out that house too if it's not going to be appealing to him to keep it because it seems like he liked to rent more than he liked to own. I'm just saying because I had high hopes that you did probably find yourself a, a billionaire or even a millionaire. But with him going renting all this stuff, as Fallon saying, we can't wait. Can't wait till that book come out. That might truly be a bestseller. And not that Fallon had bought up so many copies to put her in that degree or that role of the book was doing pretty well in circulation. Because we know you probably got a whole half of a warehouse of books waiting to be given away with your other materials such as your hair that you found it as well as your uh, pampered sheets by Porsche so I don't know guys it just seems like it gets worse and worse every time either one of them want to uh, press forward and make us believe they're living a Hollywood life. They're living a Hollywood dream. They got it going on. And I get so tired of people telling me, well, you don't know. You don't know this. You, you don't know either. Y'all don't know. Okay? Y'all don't know probably more than what I know. And the only thing I am toasting up to, they give me the commentary. I make my opinions. I post it. Okay? And like my like minded folks, they want to have a truly dialogue on the situation at hand. We get together. We congregate at the house. Okay? And we talk about it. It ain't for nobody else to really discuss. To say, why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? Hell, because we're doing it. And it's something we want to do. But I'm telling you, Portia. You keep letting that young lady around your man. Okay? You seem like... You can trust them. But again, the old saying, how you got the man is how you going to lose them. Now, wouldn't that be a slap in the face and a kettle calling the pot black if Lauren snuck around and messed with your husband behind, well, your um, boyfriend behind your back? Girl, your tribal mate, your party mate, you didn't take her to, what was it, Las Vegas? You took Shamika to that one but a little later you've been just i guess maybe shamika don't like to go to nigeria or whatever but you didn't take long when you first went over there with your so-called boyfriend so i'm like why is she getting all these tickets to fly here and there with you and if you were or simon was about his business and his income his network why you didn't fly his plane over there Beyonce got Jay-Z, $40 million plane. They come and go whenever they want to. They just set the itinerary. They talk with the uh, pilot. The pilot radio in his uh, navigations of where he's going to be going in case something happened. They at least know where they were on the grid in the friendly skies before they disappeared or crashed or whatever. Yeah, they do those things. But... Your man and how they going on. So it makes it questions to the simple mind. Is he really what he say he is? Or he is just trying to fake it till he make it? That's all I got to say. Because I damn sure. Be it black. Be it white. Be it Asian. And never sound no multi-millionaire or billionaire. Post on social media. The where 
to where Simon and Portia does it. Telling all their business. Showing all their little secrets they do behind closed doors. I'm like, really? And that's CEO, COOF material? I think not. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more because you know Portia or Simon is going to put something out there. And it's going to go past my tweet. <laughs> it's going to go past my social media. And I'm going to be like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not. And nine times out of ten, I'll be right here giving you play by play, blow by blow. Because right now, Portia is stupid. She is stupid. Okay? Stupid. And Simon is loving all of the stupidity that she is giving him because he's not looking bad. She's looking bad. Because every picture, if you think I'm lying, go on back and check. Everything he posts, it's always got to do with something with the breasts or it got to do something with the buttocks. All right? Breasts and butt. Breasts and butt. That's all Portia's fiance want. Breasts and butts. Okay? But that's all I have, got you. Uh, guys. Hope y'all like the video, and I am going to sleep after this. So y'all be breezy, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.